Hey everybody, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually share with you how to gain trust of your email list. All right, because remember, you're, you're here to build an email list, right? You got to build your list, build the following, because without people, you won't be able to sell anything, right? But there is a way to gain trust of your list. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you three things that's going to help you gain someone's trust. And that's coming up next. Hey everybody, this is Eddie Sand and welcome to another training day that I have good information for you today. Today, I want to give you the most crucial part of your online business. I'm going to give you the tips, the strategies to gain trust from your list, right? First of all, you've got to be building a list, okay? That's number one. That is something very important. But the crucial part about that is that you need to gain your list trust, all right? Don't become one of those online marketers that basically buys a list of emails and starts spamming them, right? Or maybe... You, you have an opt-in page and people are signing in or signing up, opting in to your list, but you immediately bombard them with buy this product, get this service, join my team, and all this stuff, and people just unsubscribe. Why? Because, again, the crucial part about your online business with your email list is to gain trust. You've got to gain trust. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to do a little a little twist on the fundamentals of how to win someone's trust when you meet them in person. And let me explain. So I was I was in sales. I think I'm still in sales <laughs> doing it online now. But um, when I was in sales face to face, one of the ingredients that helped me to make more sales was to actually practice these three things. Number one, smile. Always smile, right? So the person sees me and I start smiling. That person immediately feels good. You know, everybody wants to feel happy. So why not start with a smile, even though they may not have it? Number two, number two is say their name. Now, here's what I used to do. So again, in sales, you've got to remember someone's name because when you become their friend, by you saying their name multiple times, usually my goal was three to four times through our, our, converse, our conversation. And that built trust, right? I can talk to a friend easier when I'm telling, uh, I'm calling them by their name than it is by saying sir, ma'am, or no name at all. So that was the second thing that I did. Always say their name. And number three, here's, here's the cool part. Number three was one of my favorites. Because when you smile, when you say their name, you've got to listen. That's number three. And let me tell you, it was one of my favorites because when I listen, that gave me the, how do I share, how, how can I call it? The ammunition to give them back what they wanted. For example... Uh, this was in, in retail kind of places, and I used to work in a fitness industry, so I used to sell uh, memberships. So every time someone will come in, they will tell me all about, you know, how they want to lose weight, how to, you know, all the problems, all the challenges, and I would listen. So when it was ready for them to buy training from me for the gym, become a member, and then buy training, personal training, all I had to do was repeat what they had just told me. And that cannot be possible if you're not listening. So you're probably asking, well, Eddie, that's cool when you, you have someone in front of you, but how can I do that with an email list? I mean, they're, they're not looking at me. They're not watching me. How do I do that? Well, good question. Because you can do it. The principles are still there. I'm going to prove it to you. Number one, smile. All right, how do you smile with, how do you, how do you show that you're smiling to your email list? How do you do that? 
Well, number one, be positive, right? When you when you send a message, you can be very creative or just be very simple and put a smiley face somewhere through your email, but be positive, all right? That's one thing that shows that you're having a good time. That's how your email list, the people in your list get to see that, oh man, he's a fun guy or he's a fun, fun uh, gal, right? Or she's a fun gal. So that's one thing. Number two, so how do you make them, um, um, how do you say their name, right? How, how can they hear their name multiple times? All right, now, automation. With an email autoresponder, you can put that code for their name to show up in their email, right? Now, don't go crazy. Don't be doing one or two times. As a matter of fact, I use it only one time. One time in my email, I use the code to say their first name. But that's how you do it. You send an email and you personalize it with their name. And that is number two. That's how it helps you to, that's how you get gain trust from your list. Now, number three, how do you actually listen? I know what you're thinking. You're like, you can't listen, right? But you can't. This is what you do. When you send emails, ask questions. Ask questions. You know, I have an email sequence myself. Uh, I call it the welcome email sequence because in that sequence, I have two emails that I that are that, that are there automatically sent at a specific time and day where I ask the question, "Hey, what can I do for you? How can I better help you?" And you know what I, I, I the, the other email is uh, what's the number one challenge? And you know what happens? People actually respond. You know, it's funny because they some of them have responded and they think Oh my goodness, I, I thought you were fake. <laughs> you know, they, they kind of get the idea sometimes that it's automated. But when you do it in a, in, a, in a personable way, they respond back. They respond with what they need, what their wants are, and how I can help them. They're telling me. So what is that? Equals to. That is listening. Why is listening so important? I told you at the beginning of this video that when you listen... Now you have ammunition, right? Now you have something to tell them back. So they've gained trust, right? You're friendly, you're positive, you call them by their name, and now you're actually like asking, how can you help? So now you're really opening the doors for them to trust you, but not only that, to In like here, you. You're, you're going to find the welcome email sequence that I was just talking about. So go ahead and get it. It's so again, this free. is the email sequence for your new prospects. That way you start gaining trust. Uh, you can get it at eddysan.com forward slash uh, trust. Okay, so eddysan.com slash trust. And I'll put it somewhere here in this uh, episode. And uh, by the way, just so you will know where, where I got this information about these three things, there's more than three, okay? So I just want to give you three today. And again, it was all about the being positive, right? Uh, the other one is about saying their names or, you know, mentioning their name in their email. And then finally, just listening. I got this from a book, How to Win Friends and Influence Others. This is a great book. And you know what? The first uh, three or four chapters, that's, those are the steps on how to do it. You know, and, and this is the book that helped me to to win a lot of friends and make a lot of sales when I was doing face to face uh, selling, but it's helping me as well build my online business. And when the time comes for you to make an offer of what you're selling or maybe to join your your system, your product, your company, whatever it is that you're doing online, once you make an offer, it'll be easy for them to accept. Why? Because they trust you and they like you. And let's say they give you a little hesitance, which you should get some, some hesitance on not buying right away. What do you do? Well, you already listened to them. They told you what they want, what they need, how you, they want you to help them. So you give it back to them, right? Send emails just like that of what they've told you. And so you learn from what you hear or read their response. That's how you learn. Okay. So again, 
How do you win trust? How can you win someone's trust in your list for you to grow your business, your online business? How do you do that? Number one, be positive, right? When you send emails, be positive. That'll, that'll show that you're always smiling. Number two, make sure that you say their name. Okay, just do it once in one email, whether it's in the subject line or whether it's in the email, the body of the email, just one time, that's all you will need. And number three is listen, right? Send the question, how can I help you? What can I do for you? You know, I'm so glad you joined my list, but I'm here, I'm a real person. I would like to help you, how can I do that? Can you tell me how can I do that? So now you're getting feedback, now you're listening, and now you're helping. And believe me, it works like wonder. It's just awesome. It's an awesome feeling for them and for you because you're building trust, you're engaging with your list. And that, my friends, is what's important to grow your online business. So I know it's going to help you. So if you like what you hear, go ahead and like, give me a like, uh, subscribe to this channel, come back tomorrow because I'll have something else for you. Till then, have an outstanding day. Peace. Subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff here. I appreciate that.